This one happened in January, right after New Year's. Be leaving Illinois for my home in PA. Was there visiting kinfolk for the holidays. 15 to 16 hour drive. Didn't leave till late. Planned on stopping at a motel. About seven hours in, the urge to sleep gets strong. Pull into a small roadside stop, go to check in, realize I left my wallet in Illinois. Shit, fuck, damn it. Lady behind the counter says there's an old campground up the road. Says to be careful though, nobody goes up there, but she's heard stories. Ask her what kind of stories. Local legends, you know. Mostly, I think it's just meth heads. I agree, since I'm still in the Bible Belt at this point. Middle America has a bad meth issue. Take her instructions, find the campground. It was a pretty warm winter in the area, so there's only a little snow on the ground, so the going isn't too bad down the dirt road to get in. Find the check-in office. Lady wasn't kidding when she said the place didn't get much use. Building's windows are all either gone or boarded up. Decide to park behind it just in case cops. Already feeling sketched out by the situation, I decide to risk getting my concealed carry gun out of the spare tyre area and load it. Keep it grip out under the back of the driver's seat, since I'm going to sleep in the back seat. Put my mag light on the seat next to me, grab my blanket and pillow, and lay across the back seat, facing the window that looks out into the woods. Leave the windows crack so I don't die. Fall into fitful sleep, wake up maybe two hours later with a god-awful smell. Smells like a mix of roadkill, vomit and dookies. Oh sweet Jesus, I'm gonna hurl. It's a big clearing and a pretty clear night, so I notice something standing at the far end of the campground. Think it's maybe a tweaker, and the smell is coming from him, so grab the maglite and shine it out at this guy. Thing suddenly stands the rest of the way up, probably eight feet tall. It's too far out for me to make out any real details. Grab pistol and get ready as fuck. Can't shit my pants due to sheer ass-clenching terror. Thing makes this horrible half-squeal, half-bark barfing noise that trundles off into a weird laugh, twitches around and then bounds into the woods. Fucking what the fuck was that fucking shit? Slowly reach for the door handle. Right as I do, BOOM! There's a huge thud on my roof. Boom, boom, boom! Barking giggle noise. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, please don't let me die tonight. Open the door and rock it out. Stumble, fall, roll over. Shin maglite at my car and aim the pistol. I can't see shit, Captain. My face where nothing's on my roof at all. Suddenly, the smell is right on top of me. Worse than it had been before. Jump up, almost a urine mode engaged. Swing light and gun around. Stop dead. Fucking thing is like three inches from me, lean down. Ain't got no face, just a big ass ragged rip that might be a grin or a grimace. Makes that horrible gurgling bath bark laugh and I probably shouted or tried to sound badass but it probably came out pretty girly. Shut eyes tight, pull the trigger until the gun clicks empty. All I can smell is burnt powder. Slowly open my eyes. The thing is gone. There's a lot of spent shells on the ground. Also, I peep myself a little. Don't even wait to see where it went. Just hear angry screeching from the woods. Jump in my car and speed off, almost crash. Hear that noise the whole way until I make it to the highway. Don't stop for anything until I hit the PA border and only then to change out of piss stained pants and get a candy bar. Never been so scared in my life. Honestly thought I was going to bite the big burrito.